The man accused of killing a Holly Springs mom is now behind bars in North Carolina. Brian Sluss was brought to the Wake County Detention Center after he was arrested in Virginia yesterday. He's charged with the murder of 23-year-old Monica Moynan, who hasn't been seen for more than a year. Our Colleen Quigley was there when Sluss arrived at the jail, and she joins us live with the very latest. Colleen. Yeah, Marius, the Holly Springs police chief who has been investigating this case for 10 months tells me they were relieved to bring Sluss back here to North Carolina so he could face the charges for murder of Monica Moyna. Now, Monica, the 23-year-old mother of two young children, has not been seen since July. Uh, excuse me, she was missing in July. She hasn't been seen since last April. And in October, Sluss was named a person of interest. The Wake County District Attorney and police chief telling me they're both very confident in all of the evidence they collected. It was yesterday that a grand jury handed up the murder indictment against Sluss. Now today I asked both the prosecutor and the police chief if anybody else might be charged, specifically Brian Sluss's ex-wife Jarlin, who was also named a person of interest back in October. Here's what they had to say. Yeah, I think there are still some matters that are continue under investigation, uh, but you know clearly in terms of you know being charged with the murder itself, uh, we do not anticipate anyone else will be indicted um, for this. Well, I'll say this: the investigation continues. Uh, you know, our work is has never done on this. Uh, there are uh, we've answered uh, for the family. We've answered, I think, a lot of questions. But there are still some questions that are unanswered, and we'll continue to investigate this. But we've been closely following Monica's case for months now, examining warrants that say after she went missing, Sluss was found in possession of her car and cell phone, and he eventually admitted to using her social media pages, pretending to be her. And shortly after she was reported missing, police searched her apartment and found a positive pregnancy test, which they wrote in warrants that they believe that pregnancy test led to the events that caused Brian Sluss to kill her. Reporting live in Wake County, Colleen Quigley, CBS 17 News.